Welcome to tutorial three. We are currently in the tab projects. I'm just going to show you around this a little bit. We will start with folders. Here you can create a folder to organize your projects. For example, I will type example folder and then click plus, which has now created a new folder for me. To delete this, simply select and click on the minus symbol. The next thing that we can do is select projects by ticking these boxes and then we can move them to created folders by pressing move to and choosing the folder of your choice. To the far right is a little arrow which has the options of duplicating the project and a quick link to the project report page. Also as explained in the first tutorial you have your filtering system on the left hand side. Now we are ready to go back into a saved project and edit that. And we do that by simply clicking edit. If you remember in tutorial two, we added a room. And if you wanted to view what has been added to your design, we can select the drawing properties tool like so and scroll down to show slash hide drawing and tick the box and change the transparency like so to show you what is old and what is new in the design. We're now going to go through another tool on the construction tab labeled draw surface. What this tool does is measure the surface area of the area that you select. We do this by simply clicking on the corners of the room you want measured like so, and always click back to the first corner to close off the selected area. Now by clicking the selected surface area, a tab will pop up and show you the size of the area on the right. You can also distinguish areas by changing the colors by pressing the I tab, which will bring up a color panel where you can change to whatever color you desire. Or if you wanted to add textures, you can do so, such as carpet, timber floors, etc. Another tool on the construction panel is the measure tool. If you wanted to measure from point A to point B, this can be done by simply clicking on the point that you'd like to start then clicking onto another point. And if you wanted to finish the line, simply double click. This will give you a measurement of those lines. Another quick tool is the single wall tool. This is quite simply if you wanted a freestanding wall, simply just click and drag the area you want it placed. It will give you a measurement and you can also view it in 3D to have a look at it. A few other quick tools are the fence tool this is if you wanted to draw a fence around your property. You also have a hedge tool if you knew where you wanted hedges to be. And you also have a stone pathway tool. And lastly, we have the text tool. If you want to label a certain room or just add text around your design, simply click and drag it to where you want it placed and type whatever you want in the text box. You can also change your font type, the size, the color, as well as background color and transparency. That's the end of tutorial three on how to navigate through your construction tool tab.